Oh. Hello. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty beat. Just hiking out from my hunt on this beautiful November morning and a little frustrated because I got in here bright and early. It's the only one, no other vehicles at the trailhead. And get in and get set up as I'm sitting down in front of me at about 250 yards is this really nice buck. Nice, nice enough that uh, I about lost my mind. Um, really wide and tall. So I'm super excited and he is coming right towards me. He gets about 150 yards, it's still not shooting light and I'm getting situated and he stops broadside behind a tree and starts feeding. And I'm thinking, okay, this is good. He's gonna feed, either side of this tree, he's gonna feed out right in front of me at 150 yards. I've got three minutes at this point, but I can't shoot because he's behind the tree. So I uh, get him set up. All of a sudden he just takes off and this public land I'm hunting on, uh, there's a section of private over to the south of where I'm set up. And yeah, jumps the fence and he's gone. Just like, well, what the heck? I was being super quiet, wasn't moving. He couldn't have seen me because his head was behind the tree. About a minute after all of this goes down, four hunters come up behind me and they're like, hey, uh, we're not in your way, are we? What are you, what are you planning on doing here? It's like, uh, okay. So I told him at that point, I just said, yeah, you guys, you guys do whatever you want. Like make a plan. I'm just going to be glassing here. Uh, so as soon as I glassed up some more mule deer, I took off. Um, couldn't make a play in them. So I glassed some more and I glassed up this one mule deer about a mile and a half away in the bottom of a canyon feeding by itself. So it was kind of like, okay, might as well give that a shot. I can't, I couldn't really tell with my optics if it was a buck or not. And made it all the way into 300 yards, but at about 600, I realized it was not a buck. And there were about 10 other does in there with it, which was pretty cool to see them. And it was super cool to be able to sneak to within 300 yards. Like I snuck into 300 yards, set it up like I was gonna shoot. And yeah, they never, never knew I was there including when I had belly crawled in, belly crawled out, and when I got back to the opposite side of the hill where I dumped all my stuff, I realized I had lost my phone at some point. So I had to sneak back in, get the phone, which fortunately I found. It's one of the benefits of having a white case and got back out without him seeing me. So. Yeah, it was an eventful morning, and now I'm gonna go home and take care of some stuff around my place and just enjoy the rest of the Saturday. Hope you guys do the same.